Okie dokie, so we are back with another Animal Crossing New Leaf uh, video journal. It's been a little while, I apologize for that, but I've been really busy with um, getting the fold situated for the bit block and whatnot. And quite a bit has changed here, I think, uh, since you guys have last visited Mimin here with Mayor Joshi. Um, you might notice my or my house is actually pretty much completed on the outside, not the actual, you know, remodeling process. It's still quite small. But yeah, I've done quite a bit here in uh, the gardening aspect. Uh, we've got some bushes that I got from the island, got some lemon trees. I hoarded some of the lemons from the Harvest Festival. Peach trees and then orange trees in the back. Um, I made sure that I left a, an opening so I can see what my neighbor's up to. And then uh, got some stone pathway. It's just all very symmetrical, I think is the best way to put it. And then I got my little thinking stumps. So I can sit out here on my stump and think. All right, that's enough thinking. And then um, I have a signboard out here with Orbit on it. Um, one of my favorite features in the GameCube game were the signboards, and so I'm so happy to see that they have made a return. They are a community project, and they're relatively cheap. I think it's like 40,000 bells, which is kind of one of the cheaper community projects. Um, here's Cap'n. He's just kind of chilling there. So yeah, the main focus of, I think, this video journal is going to be the shopping center. We're gonna, I haven't done any of my errands, and so we're gonna go do those together, and it'll be a, a night to remember. It's, uh, it's about 5 p.m., so the sun is setting. Everything's very golden and pretty. Um, so I've started some ideas, but they're not done. Like, this is something that's gonna be a lot prettier in a few more days, so you'll have to, you'll have to excuse how crappy it looks. Oh, by the way, um... I took down the fence. I really started to hate that fence. It kind of served no purpose for me, so I had it demolished. I think it cost me like 5,000 bells to do that, but it was kind of worth it. Um, so yeah, I'm glad that's gone. I have better ideas. Also, this is kind of interesting. Um, sometimes when you chop down a tree, the stump will have some sort of a weird symbol on it. I've seen a Triforce. This looks like it's a, like the inside of an orange or a lemon. I've seen an X. I've seen Crazy Red's logo. I'm not sure what they mean. Maybe if I plant something there, something special will grow or happen? I'm not sure, but that's kind of weird. Also, this rock is clearly not a real rock. So let me grab my shovel. <laughs> so you can always kind of tell what rock is going to be the crystal if you know where your rocks are. Let's get one of those. Um, I also built this bridge, another community project. I really like the wooden bridge. I think it's pretty cool. Definitely fits the Animal Crossing vibe. Um, so yeah, a lot actually has changed, I guess, now that I'm looking at it. This is the Lost and Found. I went with the classic version. Um, I thought classic meant that it would be like the classic GameCube build, but modern is actually the GameCube Lost and Found, and classic is uh, this one. So actually, let's go inside. <laughs> oh, it looks like we got a pitfall, a piece of furniture, and an umbrella. And of course, Booker is here. He's very kind of, uh, he's dim-witted, just like he was before. So, hmm, should we take one? Let's take, hmm, do I, I don't think I need an umbrella for anything. Let's take the pitfall. I use these quite often to um, trick that purple kangaroo that lives here. So yeah, that's the lost and found. Pretty cool. <laughs> oh, and uh, I, I posted a picture of this on the site's Twitter, but I think I gotta show you guys. My town flag is now ALF. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> Here's another example of one of those stumps. It's like the, the bell symbol, or actually I think that's, like I said, Crazy Red's symbol. Um, that's where a hideous monster lives, so let's ignore it. Um, you'll notice that on the bottom touchscreen, I pretty much have almost everything built here. We've got the photo booth, uh, Club 444, which I believe is Club 101 in the American version. The, uh, you know, real estate agency, the post office, I have the equip- I think this is Nookway, I'm not sure if it's still called that, but it's basically the supermarket. Had that for a few days. Uh, you know, and then we've got the flower shop, 
the Taylors, you know, the Able Sisters, um, the shoe store, and of course the museum. Oh, and also, just the other day, um, Shampoodle opened up, which is just above the Able Sisters. So, needless to say, we've got a lot to do. Um, let me check my pockets. Yeah, I've got quite a bit in my pockets. Let's let's go ahead and visit the museum, see what Blathers is up to, and uh, and then we'll make our way west. Another really cool thing in New Leaf is that before you jump into the museum to donate something, you can check to see if you've already donated it just by reading this billboard outside. So wow, I haven't really donated any fossils. I'm pretty greedy. I take the bells for the fossils. Um, got a decent amount of insects, fishies, and then <laughs> no paintings. Oddly enough, I've tried to donate paintings, but good old Crazy Red has been screwing me over nonstop. Yeah, he, oh, he's also in town again today, so maybe we will visit Crazy Red before we wrap up this journal entry. <laughs> Shh, he's sleeping. Come on, Blathers, wake up! We got fossils to check. So this is actually really handy. Um, unlike previous versions of the game, you can actually just select as many fossils as you have, hand them over to him, he grabs them with his wings, and he tells you, you know, blah blah blah, and gives them back to you. So you don't have to do them one at a time, I guess is what I'm saying here. Oh, look at his eyes. They're glorious. They're glistening. And now he's emitting flowers. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think I have all these. Well, I don't have, like, the girl flip-flops. I have those. I have those. <laughs> I like the Santa boots. I actually bought those the other day. Let's try them on just so you can see them. So yeah, it, you know, um, in the winter or like around Christmas time, you'll see that the shops actually do sell items related to the time of the year. <laughs> Which is kind of cool. I'm not going to buy them though. I already own them. Oh, I'm also wearing a Happy Home Academy shirt. It was sent to me from the Happy Room Academy. It's Happy Room Academy in America, Happy Home Academy in Japan for some reason. Uh, which makes more sense, really. It sounds better. But yeah, I got that shirt and I also got a pendant that I put up on my wall. So I feel pretty, I feel pretty special. Which is a bit weird because my house is a total train wreck. It's just a bunch of stuff tossed all over the place. Um, but yeah, I think that's all we really need here. It's kind of funny because in real life I have a huge collection of shoes, most of which are shiny. Um, and so in Animal Crossing I started collecting shoes. I have like I think over 25 pairs already. And it's kind of uh, interesting because in Animal Crossing I also have collected like a bunch of different cool socks. And so now in real life I've started collecting crazy interesting socks. So it's like life imitating Animal Crossing and Animal Crossing imitating life. It's art. All right, let's see what's for sale here. Uh, oh, crazy mustache? That's a definite maybe. Orange hat, get out of town. Let's try it on. <laughs> nice. I think we're gonna buy that. We'll take it. So yeah, there's the uh, Santa hat in the background. I bought that the other day as well. Um... Mint glasses? Let's try them on. <laughs> Alright, I kind of like those. I'm going to buy them. I don't, I don't think I have those. Ooh, a skirt! Let's try the skirt on for fun! And then I'll buy it when I'm not recording the journal. <laughs> yeah. That's not working for me. Oh, look at that! There's the the bunny shirt and the elephant shirt on the same day. Do I have enough room? Oh, my pockets are full! Hmm... Can we do a little creative stashing here? Yes, we can. Because I'm getting both of those animal shirts. Uh, yep, I want it. Don't even need to try it on. So I'm actually pretty happy with my hairstyle right now. It's a little crazy, but 
I've definitely grown to like it. At first I was horrified, but now, I don't know, I think it's kind of cool. Um, but I'm gonna change it anyways, just for you guys, because I know you want to see. Oh my goodness, what is it? What? Oh, <laughs> Gracie Grace magazines. Where do I subscribe to get those in my mailbox? How do you tell the time on that clock? Uh, what else we got here? Lots of product on a cart. Uh, oh, a little cactus. Boop. I'm gonna sit here. Do my hair from here. Come on. All right, that's enough fiddling around. So it's 3,000 bells to get your hair done, just like before. Yep. You can also get a, a makeover, which would be wearing your me mask. I always think that looks weird. It's like wearing a me mask in a Mario game. I just don't think it works well. But if you want to, you can do that. Okay, so the questions are a little bit different here. I don't think she had a slider before. We didn't have this little whoop, whoop, whoop sliding thing. So I'm going to go right about there. I got to be honest, I'm kind of cheating. There's a guide available online that shows you the styles. So I kind of memorized what I want to go with here. And Okay, so next she's going to ask me about the color that I want my hair to be. What kind of dye she's gonna use um so it's like natural colors uh darker colors or lighter colors i'm gonna go with i think this one's natural and then right about there so i'm gonna go with the same color i kind of like that hair color it's an ash brown all right stick that thing on my head and let's do this boy said that a lot in my life <laughs> All right, I like it. Um, so one of the new things here is Dr. Shrunk will teach you emotions, but you got to feed him first. So I brought him a delicious orange. And I'm not really sure if it's like different food will give you different emotions or if it's just totally random. I, I don't think I've actually given him the same thing twice, so maybe I should look into that. Ooh, he liked it. <laughs> All right, let's watch a show. Those gyroids are so ominous when they're not moving <laughs> and when they're in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> so now in uh, in New Leaf things are a lot more detailed because you can hold so many more emotions. You can literally, as far as I can tell, hold literally every single emotion. Literally. I don't know, I said that way too many times. I thought I would throw a third one in there. So yeah, I've got quite a few, um, seven of them, in fact. And so this is one I just learned. <laughs> the uh, tired, bubbly yawn. Um, so yeah, there's two pages. Unlike in past games, you don't have to like delete them to learn another one. I gotta be honest, I'm not sure how I feel about that because it's like, it was kind of fun collecting the emotions that you felt best described your personality. And so now that you can just have them all, it's like when you get them all, you won't want to come back here. So I don't know. We'll see how that turns out. Another really cute things you can do with emotions is you, you can go up to one of the animals and you can perform the emotion when they're looking at you. Dr. Shrunk, turn around and look at me. <laughs> and they'll sort of encourage you or they will mimic your emotion. <laughs> I love that one. This is like the best emotion. Is that even an emotion? No, that's more of an action. All right, well, apparently I'm not as interesting as stools and a wall, so I'm out of here. <laughs> 